Hi guys and welcome back. It's Shana Kelly, aka Little Bit of Sunshine. Welcome to Bright and Fewer Day, no matter what the weather. And today I'm here doing a video that I've actually not done in a very, very, very long time, which is like my favourites of the month. I don't think I've done one of these in like nearly a year, if not longer. So I've decided to do one today because I've got a lot of stuff lately that I obviously haven't done hauls with in this channel, which I usually would have done anytime I went shopping, but I've done a lot of shopping in the past four months and not showing you guys like any of it so um i've taken my like few favorites and i'm gonna show them to you now so the first thing i'm gonna say is my february favorite and i don't think i could say anything is my favorite i'll put my favorite drink in the world so my favorite drink that i have lived on for basically the past maybe three months is the captain kombucha's raspberry flavored kombucha that, that's the word i was looking for basically i don't function in work without a bottle of this <laughs> I am obsessed, I drink this all day, every day, like literally Captain Kambucha should sponsor me because I am, I, I, it's running in my blood at this stage, like anybody who works with me will tell you that I don't go a day without purchasing it, like my, if I was to literally go through my bank statements you would probably always see the exact amount that I cost for Kambucha on my bank statements or like if you went through the receipts I have from work it would literally be Kombucha, 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 like that would literally be it. Oh, and eat real sea salt crisps, I love them too. So yeah, that would, that's literally all I buy. <laughs> so that is my fourth favourite of the month. The next is this hairband that I bought in Claire's. Um, I wear a lot of hairbands in work just to like keep the hair off, keep my hair off my face in work. Because obviously my hair is like super, super long. So it gets out of control very, very easily. So it's really handy to have a hairband and just like, I usually plait my hair and then put hair, like put the hairband in and then plait my hair just so it's not too heavy. Like a pony is starting to hurt my head and give me headaches. So I found this a really good like alternative to like putting ponies in my hair. It's just like having this with two plaits. Um, I've loads of hairbands, but this is just my favorite one. It's so springtime and like, it's covered in sunflowers, which I love sunflowers. It's not my favourite flower, but I do love sunflowers, so that is that. The next one I have is this Trilogy Very Gentle Calming Syrup. And why I'm loving this this month is, I was very stressed two, two and a half weeks ago, and I broke out on a rash, which you probably still can see. It was pretty, pretty rough of a rash, like my neck. I looked like I had the chicken pox just on my neck for whatever reason. We still haven't figured out what it was, actually. But I'm guessing it may have been stress. That's the only logical thing I can think of because when I'm stressed, I scratch my neck. So it must have been that I scratched my neck too much and it brought on a rash. So I, I have this very like gentle calming syrup from Trilogy and I put this on it just said, I'll give it a go, see what it does. And I have to say the next day it was like, it had like nearly disappeared. Like it was amazing how quickly it worked. So I haven't used it every single night, which I probably should. My, my rash would probably be gone if I had. But um, it's definitely killed it slowly but surely off my neck when I remember to use it. So I really recommend trying that if you suffer with rashes or any kind of like irritated skin. It's actually really, really good. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Anyway, I will leave a link to anything I can in the description. Um, just so you guys can like actually find it. Like if it's from TK Maxx, I probably can't leave a link in the description. But I'll leave a link to the like companies and maybe, I don't know. I'll do what I can do. So the next thing I have is this Mugu Rosehip Oil. Now, not specifically the Mugu, Mu not specifically the Mugu Rosehip Oil, but Rosehip Oil in general, I've just been loving lately. This is just the one that I happen to have in my room today. But I love the Sukin one too, and the Trilogy one's pretty good as well. The Sukin is probably my favorite of the three that I've tried. They're all really, really good, and I just recommend Rosehip Oil for dry skin or if you have acne and things like that it's been really really helping my skin usually the winter is like the worst time on my skin and because i've tried this this year and other rosehip oils my skin has actually like gotten through the winter pretty unscathed and um, yes i've still gotten pimples yes my skin is somewhat irritated but not as bad as it usually is like usually i get a load of red spots like right across my chin come like this icy weather because i don't wear a scarf so i don't protect my chin so this is like literally been a lifesaver to me this year. The next thing I have are the Eco Tools. Um, I got a few of these for Christmas of my godmother and my nanny. And I've been adding to the collection a little bit. 
I have had eco tools before by the way so these are just the new ones that I got I do have like the travel set but um, I've decided that like one of my goals this year is to like completely change all my makeup brushes to all eco tools and hopefully my hair brushes too but I can't actually find the hair brushes lately so if you know somewhere that actually does eco tails hair brushes will you please like comment below and tell me where to get them because I haven't been able to find them anywhere but however these are amazing brushes and they're like made from bamboo so they're like they don't destroy the environment when they're thrown away or anything like that which I think is super awesome not that I'll be throwing them away anytime soon but um <laughs> trust me I won't but they're really really inexpensive obviously I don't know how much the ones my nanny and my ma oh, my nanny and my godmother bought me but the ones that I bought um, with this one I paid eight euro for this one eight euro for this one and then I bought another eye one that I don't have here but that was like four euro in TK Maxx. So they're like, they're not really, really expensive compared to other brushes. But they do really, really do a good job. And I highly recommend drying them. So yeah, that's my favorite of the month when it comes to makeup brushes. My next favorite, again from TK Maxx. Can I just say, I really go to TK Maxx, but lately since being in work, I've just been like tempted to go to TK Maxx once. And then I ended up falling in love with TK Maxx for some reason. I genuinely don't know but yeah that's been my life but I got this lovely water bottle for the gym it's like a metal stainless steel one and um, it was originally 29 euro but I got it for 10 euro and I just thought it was really really pretty and it was kind of the kind of bottle that wouldn't get destroyed easily like plastic bottles they, I don't find that they last very well so I wanted to try a steel one and see how it holds up compared to the other ones like the last plastic water bottle I bought was like a Sistema one BPA free obviously and all that jazz but um, I paid 8 or 9 euro for that and it like just the lid on it stopped actually functioning like out of nowhere so yeah that's why I'm going to try one of these and see how they hold up I don't think it was that dear to be honest 10 euro for a good water bottle but we shall see um, the next thing I got was this handbag I'm loving this handbag for work by the way um, it's just floral and there's like little cute little bees on it as well. This is from Ollie and Nick which I'd never heard of. I just fell in love with the actual design and colour of the bag. And the little, <laughs> this didn't come on it by the way, I added this on. It's a Denman hair, um, little mini hairbrush keyring. I got this in Terry Sales for €2 Euro, but this was 26 99 for this bag. And I've just found it like a really good size for a work bag so I've been loving that. <laughs> Everything else now I have is like clothes, yeah clothes that's pretty much it and since working I haven't had as much time to go to charity shops the way I used to. I do have one thing from the charity shop but apart from that everything else was kind of like for once in my life like brand new. But the first thing I have is this red really pretty frail dress. I got this in the, the I got this in the charity shops for four euro. This was actually the dress I wore for my interviews when I was going for them. So um, I just love it, it's really really smart and pretty on and it's just, it's a really practical dress, that's the way I'm going to put it. So I kind of really love it, it's just like low key here and it's really simple but you could dress it up so nicely or you could keep it really casual, it's just that kind of dress and it's just plain and simple at the bottom, like there's no frill or anything like that, it just sits nicely like just on my knee like so, I don't know, I'm really short so maybe for normal people it'd be above their knee but for me it's just on my knee and I kind of like that about it so that's the first dress I have. The next one I have I got in TK Maxx. I was in love with this dress and was telling myself I wasn't going to buy it but I don't know I loved the like lace details on it. I thought it was just like the perfect spring dress. It was $26.99 originally from Amber Combi and Fitch. I have never bought anything from Amber Combi and Fitch by the way until this dress. But I just love it it's kind of like the same kind of style as in there's nothing really to it at the bottom but it is like a lace frill kind of at the bottom it's a nice navy color as well which i don't really wear a lot of navy but i do wear floral so floral is not unusual but me to wear navy is and yeah i just oh, i think it looks lovely on this is definitely something you'll see on my instagram a lot so check out my instagram if you want to see this actually try it on on my instagram um in the summer i'm sure it'll be on me like loads the next t-shirt I have, I've wore a few times, so it's not looking as... <laughs> I haven't ironed it, so like, let's like, take that into mind. But it just says good vibes, and this is from Pennies. It was only 3 euro, which I thought was super good for Pennies. Uh, well, obviously, Pennies isn't ever dear, but um, I just thought it was really, really nice. So, yeah, I bought it. 
the next one I have is this hoodie. I got this in New Look as well. Um, I actually bought this from the kids section because I'm really small <laughs> and um, I can do that kind of thing apparently. I didn't know I could until I tried it and it worked. So it's age 14 to 15 but apparently that fits me so not the way everyone always says I look 16. Yeah well apparently I only look 14 to 15 now. But just this nice cropped hoodie that's um, got some detail on the sleeve, nothing fancy but it just says, uh, I don't even remember what it says. Oh Williamsburg on the front of it and I just, I liked the colours of it. That's what like drew me to it, that was 20 euro. The next thing I got, I saw on the trending part of the penny shop, like if you go into pennies or Primark now, they usually have like a trending now section. And they had this dress which is really really 1940s, like I low-key love it. Like my mom hates this dress, she thinks it's way 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 old fashioned but I kind of like that about it. They had like a sweatshirt over it in the shop but I just didn't buy the sweatshirt. I don't know how I'm gonna style it to be honest because it's definitely something I wouldn't usually wear. Um, <laughs> so I don't know, but check this out. This will be on my Instagram, I'm sure, soon in the spring too, once spring actually decides to come to Ireland. But I got this for 14 euro, which I thought wasn't bad. Like even the sleeves are really, really cute. It's a really, really cute color. Um, I don't know, what do you think of this dress? Do you think it's really old fashioned and ugly? Or like my mom, or do you agree with me and think it's actually super cute and could be so so amazing it's just like totally just like straight down the bottom my mom calls it my annie dress by the way do you know like annie the orphan so um <laughs> again do you agree with my mom is it annie the orphan or is it super cute and ready for afternoon tea which is where my head is i wanted to go for afternoon tea for my like 25th birthday to be like something that i've actually wanted to do because i don't drink obviously so i would love to go for like afternoon tea obviously i actually don't drink tea or um candy cake so i don't know how that's gonna work but yeah i'm gonna make it work so i can wear this dress just to prove my mom wrong so yeah the next dress i bought was from new look i can't even actually remember how much this was because i bought it so long ago so this was 22.50 it's just a nice dusty pink lace low cut-ish kind of top just straight down at the bottom that seems to be the style of my dresses by the way like it just goes straight pretty straight down at the bottom like i don't love big frills or flows at the bottom and i don't like a really tight fit dress either so that's usually how all my dresses go so that's probably why i don't show you the bottom of my dresses too much i mainly just show the top but this is just really pretty i thought it'd be nice if i had like any events or anything i needed to go to i did have an event i was supposed to go to last week but I didn't actually go, so yeah. That's why I still have it. <laughs> and then I got these pajamas in deals actually, which I am loving. And um, they're all twisted because I'm unorganized as always. But they were like avocado <laughs> because I love avocados and guacamole. And they came with these really cute little buttons as well. Um, and these were only nine euro, which I thought was really good for a pair of pajamas. So. Yeah, and I've worn them loads. That's why they're like actually in my dirty pile right now. <laughs> but the next one, next top I got was this nice red and navy striped top. I just thought this would be really cute over a pair of jeans. Again, from New Look. I love New Look, by the way. Um, and this was 10 euro. I just, I think it's just really nice and really 90s. Um, I'm trying to get back into like retro and actually taking some sort of consideration for fashion i only get to wear my own clothes like two or three days a week so when i do i want to look good so yeah <laughs> nine out of ten times i'm in my work uniform or on my gym gear so yeah when i do wear clothes i want them to look nice so i just thought this was really cute and really simple and would be nice if like i was going shopping or something like that or like into town i don't know i thought it was cute and it sold me straight away and the last one is my merch guys i have merch look hello sunshine um, no, I wish this was my merch, but it's not. Unfortunately, I just got a new look for 12 euro. But hello, did they just make this for me? Like, they have made me consider that if I ever got like YouTube famous or Instagram famous and I needed to bring merch out like a clothing range, I'm totally gonna do a new look because they, they've already prepared for my arrival. <laughs> But no, I seriously love this t-shirt. I don't know why I haven't worn it, but I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. And yeah, isn't it just perfect? Yeah, it's it's so me, it's so bright, and oh, I can't wait to wear it now. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about wearing it. I for, I, I'd forgotten it was in my wardrobe until I opened my wardrobe this morning to do this video, and I was like, oh my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> I got really excited, so 
yeah no how cute is it and how like me is it so yeah if you want my merch head to new look <laughs> but that is my february favorites for this month anyway if you enjoy these kind of videos let me know down in the comments and i will do more of them because like i work in a shopping center now which means i spend the majority of my life shopping <laughs> mainly because i get bored in my one hour break and decide to like do a trip in the shop or if I'm in too early, I'll do a trip to the shops. Or if I'm off early, I will do a trip to the shops because my bus isn't there for half an hour. It just leads to a lot of shopping time. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you think it's an Annie dress or a tea appropriate dress? Would you like to come to my birthday tea party? Should I like actually have a birthday tea party and just, I don't know, that would be really cool. I could YouTube it. Oh, ideas. Anyway, um, I'll see you all soon. Bye.